So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about turning esters into carboxylic acids. Um, we're talking about two different conditions, um, both in acidic conditions and in basic conditions. Different mechanisms, same result, uh, close to the same result uh, at the end of the day. So let's do the acidic ones first. And if you're in acidic conditions, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to protonate. You always protonate the oxygen uh, that has a pi bond because of possible resonance structures. So this is actually the most electron-rich oxygen. So you protonate that, and that makes this carbon more electrophilic. So focusing on the acidic, the protonation occurs. This will make the carbon of the carbonyl group that much more reactive. Water, which is the solvent, will come and react and create a tetrahedral intermediate. Whenever you make a tetrahedral intermediate, you always ask yourselves, do I have a good leaving group? In this case, you do, or you will. But after this first step, it's not the one you're probably thinking. The best leaving group on this right now is actually the water you just added. So what we need to do first is actually a proton transfer. So we did this, so if we do the steps, we did a protonation, we did an addition, addition step, we added something. Now we're gonna do a proton transfer. So we're gonna shift the proton around, because at the end of the day, we wanna lose the ether part. And so what that's gonna look like, remember we're trying to get to a carboxylic acid. And we can do this using things like Le Chatelier's principle. Because there's so much water around, it'll keep adding, right? Remember the things below on the bottom of the arrow are solvents. So now we have a tetrahedral intermediate. Our best leaving group is this. So what's gonna happen? The electrons from either one of these doesn't matter. I'm gonna do it in one step. Hydrogen leaves. It's H plus is catalyzed, that makes a new catalyst. And that gives us a carboxylic acid and an alcohol that was part of the ester originally. Now that's that alcohol there. We can drive this with a catalyst, which we've regenerated. There's that H that's regenerated, and water is a solvent. A uh, couple simple steps here. Label in the last one again. There's the last step, of course, is an elimination. You'll see a lot of these, a lot of these things involve an addition, elimination, and various protonations, proton transfers going on as well. So now let's take a look at the basic conditions. Let's highlight that. Okay, taking a look at the basic conditions, these mechanisms are actually much simpler. The OH is not, ca it's not catalyzed, so you're not regenerating a catalyst, but um, there's no protonation step because you already have your nucleophile, and then this is your electrophile. This is a pretty good nucleophile. So what's going to happen is this OH is going to react with the carbon of the carbonyl group, create a tetrahedral intermediate. All right, so this is an addition step. We're adding something. We created a tetrahedral intermediate. We balanced our charge. Now we're in minus charges, right? We're in base. All right. And if you have enough of this around to drive this reaction, we'll keep adding this, and eventually we'll kick this out. And what happens here, we do an elimination step that kicks that out. So elimination. What you're going to make now is a carboxylic acid, but you're not done yet. So let's make sure we balance our charges. All right, so you have a carboxylic acid and you have a ethoxide, an oxide, ethoxide here. Now you gotta remember, carboxylic acids, of course, are what? They're acids first, and this is O minus. This is a more reactive species. And we'll see why in a second. So it's going to deprotonate that carboxylic acid and it's going to give us the carboxylate and the alcohol. And the reason this is, is you, all you got to do is look at it. This negative charge, there's no possibility for resonance to share those electrons. With the carboxylic acid, part of, the, part of the reason why they're good acids is because they're conjugate bases, the products, of, when after they react, this can do resonance. So this is more stable, so this is what you end up with. So a lot of times with these, you have to actually work up in a second step with acid to get out. So you need step two, add NH plus to have, if you actually want to isolate this in organic solvent to actually get the carboxylic acid out. So a lot of times this will be step one and then it'll be a step two. 
Those are the two ways to turn esters into carboxylic acids in both acidic and basic conditions.